Okay, so to review the Gold Coast Titans next, we're going to look at their home and away jersey. And there's not a lot of changes from last year, but there, it is a significant change at the same time. You, to the untrained eye, you probably think, oh, it's the same jersey. But uh, if you look at the home jersey, they have reversed the colours. So last year they went with a, uh, a navy top into a cyan bottom and they reversed it around. And the yellow bar across the chest has, has shrunken down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, they've... Um kind of claim that uh, cyan to navy kind of fade is probably like a almost like their that's their brand now um so yeah there'll always be touches of like you know yellow and white with that i like it it's it's clean to me the the titans are cyan that, that's their color yeah. cyan gold and a bit of navy all the colors of the beach and ocean yeah, it's, well, that's it. it's, the, it's the ocean to the sea yeah. the, i've seen too yeah. many years gone by where they've opted for more navy than cyan and i think that that wasn't going to work for them well yeah it, it, you're competing with other you're competing with Parramatta. you're competing with cowboys like you know that's exactly blue right and yellows yeah so i really like this jersey to me i liked last year's a little bit better but Seeing this on the players where the cyan is bold because it's at the top on the big broad shoulders of the yeah. players with you know, with Tino or, or Dave Vafita wearing it and showing it off, I think that it's a really striking sort of a jersey. Yeah, I think in the modern times, yeah, your, your predominant colour needs to be around the shoulders. That's what you probably has the most airtime as well in that regard. The other the win for Titans fans is if you're uh, a little, let's say, out of shape, or a different shape to Dave Fafita. Yeah. Uh, is, anyone darker... Dave, is anyone Dave Fafita's shape? Well, you yeah, this is true. Yeah, <laughs> Let's say you're not an athlete. There's a fair bit of room down the bottom that's covered up with a dark colour, and I think that's a win for the people. <laughs> Thank you, Dynasty. <laughs> so some one thing that uh, we should mention about Dynasty is they've actually used recycled bottles to make this jersey. Yeah, the uh, I think the Ecotech technology they're referring to, and uh, you're... There's some fun facts on the on the tags when you pick one up. I think it's about 36 bottles uh, used to make uh, each garment in the jerseys anyway. And then I think there's a, about 23 on any training uh, T-shirts on the on the thinner material. Oh. So, yeah, it's something they've um, – I think this is the second year they've officially used that term, but I believe they'd been kind of – had a soft launch or been quietly using the technology without kind of advertising it, I guess, maybe to work out any um, kinks in the system before – Kind of uh, going with full blown advertising. Right? I wonder if they're uh, collecting the all the, these bottles from Surface Paradise Beach for Saturday morning about seven a.m. Yeah, I'd, yeah, they the probably peak around November, I'd imagine. But yeah, <laughs> just around schoolies. Yeah, just yeah. possibly a couple of orchy bottles in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, might have showed my age then. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah. So this is a good jersey for mine, and out of ten, I'm going to go with an eight and a half. Um, I'll go with seven and a half. Um, yeah, I, I, it, it may be affected by I, I don't have just that tight uh, grasp with the Titans. I know that as one of the few Queensland teams, I must I mean, it's just something that I've never quite kind of... Might be the tweed element to them. Might, yeah, that's it. Too close to the, to the enemy. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, it's, 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 it's nice. Um, but, yeah, nothing, nothing offensive on it either for that. Anna. Yeah, right. Well, let's look at the away jersey now. And... For the first time in a little while, we're seeing a, a jersey that's not matching. And I'm not referring to the Titans there, but just all all teams in general. Yeah, Mo yeah. Most teams are matching no home and away. No yeah. set here. So this is a different one, and they've gone out of their way to, to create a fade effect with multi-lines yeah. uh, going down the jersey in that cyan colour. So what I like about it is it brings the cyan in while still making the white predominant. Yeah, they ran around with this in the first round of the trials, and I was surprised to see they used a white number on this, but it still worked. Um, I know, and also I know the, the in-house team were quite high on, I think, this one as well, that on like over the home, they were, like, I don't know if they were, they were just proud of what they come up with, again, with this faux gradient kind of element there, but it's I, I, I like it. It is clean. Um, like you say, it's kind of the science there without being overpowering um, and then that then makes it light which then serves as purpose for mm. being a uh, away jersey. The only knock I've got on either of these jerseys really if I'm looking at it is with their major sponsor my pay now and their purple colour as a bit of a contradiction to the rest of the jersey. Yeah. Now they pay the bills so they get what they want Absolutely. but I would like to have seen it incorporated in a little bit. You remember back to that very first Titans jersey in 97 when, uh, or sorry, 07, I should say, 
uh, when so Jet Star was on... uh, Ch Chandler's, and don't you dare speak a bad name about Chandler. <laughs> Bring back the charges. Eh? Oh. Uh, now, I, I look at, at that jersey with the Jet Star on the front, and the way it blended into yes. the cyan, yeah. I, I really enjoyed that. That early Reebok stuff was good, yeah. But uh, yeah, that would be my only knock on, on both of these strips is is the um, the sponsor integration. But again, you can you can't win them all. No, oh. um, I'll go a I'll go a seven on this. Same for me. Right, guys. So that's what we think. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And remember, subscribe so you can see more of this content. Like and share it so we can get it wider.